What kind of effect does your space have on your creativity? Can a room, a building, a location change your art? I started out on my kitchen table in my studio apartment. All my earliest works were made sitting there next to that old refrigerator. As things grew, I rented a tiny art studio in Seattle. And then my next studio was a guest bedroom in a house we were renting. Then we moved to Michigan and I set up another studio in another guest room. I outgrew that quickly though and rented a commercial space to transform into my YouTube studio. But it's time for another change. So now I have a new space. A space that's bigger than all those previous studios combined. Today I want to show you that space and see how this new location will affect my art and creativity. I am standing in front of this beautiful gray metal building. I just signed the papers on this place. I am the proud owner of this building. This is the new 1000 headquarters. I got my key like 15 minutes ago. This is my first time walking in here after I have officially signed the papers and this building is mine. So exciting. I don't know what door this goes to, so that's gonna be challenge number one. Should we try this door? This one looks like it has a keyhole. That is not, that's not the one. Oh, we got action. Let's go. There we go. You gotta find the lights. This is spooky. Welcome in. This is like the front of house chill out area. We have a beautiful conference room over here, which I believe we will be promptly turning into the official ping pong room. Peter's saying he wants to lose to me. I'd like a healthy competition <laughs> where everyone feels like a winner. This is just a little open space. Maybe we'll put Nikki's office here. I don't know. I love yeah. Over here, another open space. I'm thinking TV, video games, couches, vibey lounge area so that Nick can beat me at something else. Rocket League. Here we have a beautiful kitchenette with uh, fine stone countertops. This is such an incredible upgrade. Can we cut in some B-roll footage of the kitchen we had in the last studio? <laughs> because we have a full-size fridge. We have a full-size microwave slash convection oven. We have a full-size sink. Cupboards overflowing everywhere. So many cupboards. This is huge. This is awesome. And then over here we have... <clears throat> Oh, a motion sensor. Hey, this is the bathroom. Yeah, it's a bathroom. And then right around here, if you'd come into my office, please. This is the CEO's office, my personal office, except we will not be using it for that at all. This will become the editing suite. We'll set Nick up in here. We'll set the, the whole edit station up in here, sound treat it, and then he can become a workplace alcoholic because we have a wine fridge type dealio. That's cool, dude. I don't even know what to do with this, but it's pretty righteous. <laughs> oh yeah, you used to work at a wine restaurant. Yeah. Okay. So we're at a winery, so I can be in charge of the wine cooler. I'm so I'm so illiterate. <laughs> I said wine restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> A wine restaurant instead of a winery. We're gonna use it for the editing suite. There's actual sunlight in the last studio. In order to film, you want to control the light. So we blocked out all the windows, we used video lights, and it was a cave. And after two years of being in a completely blacked out studio, I am ready for a little bit of sunlight in my day-to-day -day life. I feel like I've been in a cave for two years. Come with me, I got something to show you. Okay, guys. This was just the, the appetizer because behind this door is what I'm most excited about, about this space. And I can't wait to show you. So let's check it out in three, two, one. So much space. Oh my gosh, did you hear that beautiful reverb? Uh, this is the main, that reverb tail is like nine seconds. This is the main. And it finally stopped. Okay, where we're gonna shoot the videos, we definitely have to put some sound treatment up in here. It is a giant echoey space with emphasis on giant. Look at this space, it's so <laughs> gigantic. I'm still going, it's huge. Oh my goodness, so much room for activities. I Cannot wait to do all kinds of crazy stuff in this studio space. Gigantic. I'll be right back. So yeah, this, this whole room, I'm thinking this is where we're gonna do crazy art projects, crazy art challenges, fun videos. We can dream bigger. We have more room for lights and 
big projects and I don't know. The possibilities are limitless. I'm so excited by this space. Once we get moved in here officially, me and Nick were already thinking of like putting drywall up here and just painting this as a giant green screen. Because whenever we do green screen stuff, we have this tiny little green screen thing. We have to squeeze our actions into this little four foot space and not move our arms too far. But this whole wall will probably be a green screen wall and then we're just set on that. Nikki, you want to show them the loft space? <laughs> this is so exciting, guys. I've been working on trying to get this building behind the scenes for so long. And we're finally here, day one. So this is the kind of spooky little loft space, but what's great is they left all these industrial shelving units. So I think up here, even though it might be a little spooky, we'll get some more lights going in here, but this will be art supply storage, video equipment storage, all of the gear that we make our videos with because there's more storage for other stuff, let me tell you. But yeah, little loft space, what can I say? It's spooky, but it's very useful. This place is massive. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Buying a building is like freaking crazy. The fear of failure is still there, but the super excitement is definitely on for sure. Let me keep showing you guys around. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments if you have any crazy ideas that we can do with this space because we have so much opportunity here. It's a blank canvas and everywhere I'm looking, I'm like, oh, what if we did this? What if we did this? It's just all so exciting. All right, giant, super heavy industrial door. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the dungeon. There we go. Okay. Giant wood block, release the Kraken. Okay, so this is giant room number two. Look at this spooky horror film vibe. I love it. These like natural patina of these green walls with like kind of rusty vibes. It almost looks like a set designer designed this place to look like this on purpose. Ah, uh, just more huge space. This room alone is twice as big as the last two units put together. Yeah, and there's, there's still more to come. This is a very spooky bathroom. We have to do something about this. This bathroom's creepy. Hold on guys. Uh, not very fancy. Just let's get out of here. And then we have this giant warehousey room too. Even more space. What's really sick, one of the biggest reasons why I got this building is that I need to take my Vivid Kingdom stuff back from the fulfillment partners. I wanted to put myself in a position for the future where I would not have to work with a fulfillment partner. I want to be able to ship out all my own stuff. And what limited me from doing that last time was space. We couldn't physically store all the Vivid Kingdom stuff in the units that we had. And I knew that I had to get more space in order to make room for growth and prosperity in the future. And this is taking a major step towards that. But yeah, there's another giant room. What's cool is that there's already like a bunch of shelving units in here. We always love shelving units. We're super happy about that. And another big issue I've always had is like in the winter time, when I have to spray paint or use like art supplies that will stink up a studio. I would have to figure out some kind of cockamamie solution to make that work. But now we have these like giant garage doors going towards the outside. And we have these like warehousey industrial vibes. I don't feel a problem with spray painting in here. It's fine, it's cool, we can get messy, we can get huge. And it just gives us a lot more opportunity to do all kinds of crazy stuff that we couldn't do before. Here's another one of these giant industrial doors. That's just satisfying. I feel like, I feel like some kind of Greek Titan opening this door or something like that. That one doesn't want to slam on you. And here we are back in the main space. Um, I guess, let's, should we show them outside a little bit? We'll open this big old door. Got one of these industrial garage door openers. Yes. property also has, is it three and a half acres? I think it's three and a half acres. Got a lot of usable land out here. So if we do need to expand, it could be a potentially a situation where we pop up another building or something like that. In my mind right now, that seems like an unfathomable thing because there's so much space here, but you never know. The land goes all the way over here and then way back over there too. And Nick wants to set up a disc golf course. I want a basketball. We'll get a basketball hoop. Yeah, guys, let me know if you have any ideas. Based on what you've seen here, based on this blank canvas, brimming with opportunity and possibilities of what we could do in here. You guys as a hive mind are geniuses, so let me know what we should do with this place because it's like, sky's the limit. Let's go for it. Okay, welcome to the future. We have been here for about a week. We have pressure washed, we've painted, scrubbed the floors, moved stuff in, set up temporary shipping center. I'm hoping to share that with you guys on future crazy dream warehouse studio update videos. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing some of those updates, but 
there are a lot of very large expenses involved in setting up a brand new studio. So let's take a moment to talk about Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. It's super easy, it's super beautiful, it's super clean. They have these amazing award-winning templates where all you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their beautiful templates, and boom, you have a website. I've been using Squarespace for years and years. It's the centerpiece to my whole business. The whole merch operation that we're setting up in this warehouse is powered through Squarespace. But besides e-commerce, they also have beautiful image galleries. They have the option to set up members-only areas. Like, the list of features goes on and on. And it's super simple to set up. Like, honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. But if you ever do run into any issues, they have 24-7 customer support. They've helped me out. They can help you out too. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% 10 off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Your long-term support of this channel is just so crucial in being able to do major moves like this. So thank you very much. So this is the new studio. There's a lot of work to be done. We've already started. There's a whole laundry list of things that I've never done before. I don't know how to build a wall. Gonna have to learn how to do that. I don't know how to seal concrete or use pressure washers or there's just, I mean, this is gonna be a massive learning experience for me. If any of you are experts on anything, let me know down in the comments. I'm open and willing to hear any and all suggestions because uh, I'm a complete noob at this and I'm gonna be learning as I go along, but hopefully we can make something magical out of this space. Really exciting, really stressful, really fun, super duper pumped. Uh, it's huge, it's freaking huge. Let's make it awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Please click subscribe if you wanna see future updates on this crazy warehouse along with other awesome art videos. Thank you to my patrons. I'm 1000. I'm gonna get back to work. Peace out. Damn, we fashionistas, fashion icons, in the Walter White swag. That's what I'm talking about. Damn it, I wanted to be cool. Yeah, let's go.